one step closer to becoming law. Baltimore City Council members have moved forward on plastic bag ban legislation. But there is now talk about making that ban statewide. And WJZ's live Stetson Miller tells us how this could affect shoppers, of course, and retailers in the city. Stetson? Denise, lawmakers say that this citywide ban could be going into effect soon, but now the State Retailers Association is trying to come to terms with it, and they're focusing their efforts on a possible statewide ban that could be coming next year. A proposal to ban plastic bags at stores across Baltimore City is now poised to go before the full city council for a preliminary vote. On Monday, a committee moved the bill forward, which would outlaw any type of plastic bag and charge a nickel for other bags like paper ones. But much of the discussion about the legislation revolved around a possible statewide ban that could be passed in 2020. Retailers who have long been opposed to the city ban now want to work with lawmakers in Annapolis to try to work out new legislation that would work better for businesses. We know that there is going to be legislation that is going through at the state level. We would far prefer that there is one law in the state as opposed to all of these different localities with different laws. President of the Maryland Retailers Association Katie Locklear Toll says it's very hard operationally for businesses that operate multiple locations locations across the state to comply with different plastic bag bans that are already in effect in Montgomery County, Chestertown, Tacoma Park and Westminster. Councilman Bill Henry introduced the plastic bag ban in Baltimore and he says he won't know how a new state law could affect the proposed city ban until it passes. When they're passing bills in Annapolis, they make a conscious decision whether they're going to preempt local legislation. Right now, we're just moving forward on making Baltimore City better. And State Delegate Brooke Learman told WJC today that she plans to propose a statewide plastic bag ban sometime next year. They have failed multiple times at the state level in the past, but she says she's going to try to do everything she can to make it successful. We're live downtown, Stetson Miller for WJC.